A barometer is a device used to measure atmospheric pressure. A classic barometer starts with a tub of mercury. Then you get a long glass tube filled with mercury. You seal the opening, flip the tube over, place it in the tub like this, and remove the seal. If the tube is long enough, gravity will pull the mercury down and leave a vacuum on the top. Strictly speaking, this part will not exactly be a vacuum because you will have a very small amount of mercury vapor inside. At room temperature, mercury vapor pressure is about one-fifth of a pascal. So for the problems we deal with, we can ignore this vapor pressure. In any case, in the afternoon of October 29, 2012, Hurricane Sandy had a sustained wind speed of 90 miles per hour and a pressure of 0.93 atmosphere at its center. Find the height of the mercury column in a barometer when the atmospheric pressure is 0.93 atmospheres. After the mercury reaches an equilibrium and it stops flowing, the pressure here and the here must be the same. The pressure here is the atmospheric pressure because it's exposed to the atmosphere. The pressure here comes from the pressure on the top plus the pressure from the mercury column. The pressure on the top is zero because it's a vacuum. So the pressure down here would be the pressure on the top which is zero plus the pressure from this mercury column, the fluid column gives me the rho gh. The pressure here and there are the same, means PO equals to rho gh of this mercury column. That is why this is a barometer, because the pr mercury pressure gives us the atmospheric pressure. So one way to find the height of the mercury column is to say the atmospheric pressure is 0.93 atmospheres. And we know that uh, every atmosphere is 76 centimeter mercury. So this gives us 70.68 centimeter mercury. So the mercury column must be 70.68 centimeter tall. Or we can use the density of mercury to find the height of the mercury column. So first, we have to change this to the standard unit pascals. And that will be 0.93 times 10 to the fifth pascals. And that will equal to the rho gh of the mercury column. The density of the mercury is 13,600. G, you can use G equals 9.8 or 10, it doesn't matter which one you use, and then the height of the mercury column. And you will find the H to be 0.698 meters. If you use G equals 9.8, or you will get 0.684 meters if you use G equals 10. Remember, if you use everything in standard unit, this H you find is going to be in meters. Nowadays, we know that mercury is poisonous, so perhaps we can just use water to make a barometer. If we use a barometer that is filled with water instead of mercury, how tall would this water column be? Again, the pressure on the two sides must be equal, so PO equals to the rho GH. The PO is 0.93 atmospheres, so it's 0.93 times 10 to the fifth pascals. And the density of water is 1,000. I'm just going to use 10 for G and then the H. You'll find H to be 9.3 meters. Remember, about 10 meters of water is one atmosphere. So 0.93 atmospheres will be 9.3 meters. This is much taller than the height for mercury. That's why people use mercury in pressure gauges. Mercury has a very high density. 
13.6 times the density of water. So a mercury barometer doesn't have to be very tall. A water barometer would have to be 13.6 times as tall as a mercury barometer. When we use mercury in pressure gauges, it is convenient for us to just measure the height of the mercury column and use centimeter mercury as a unit for pressure. 70.68 centimeter tall means the pressure is 70.68 centimeter mercury. Here is something interesting about a water barometer. At normal atmospheric pressure of one atmosphere, a water barometer would get to about 10 meters high. And guess what? This tells us that if we have an 11 meter tall drinking straw, even Superman cannot get a drink out of it. Because the Superman can suck all the air out of the straw and leave a vacuum on the top. But the atmospheric pressure is only enough to push the water up 10 meters. So even Superman cannot get a drink in this case. But of course, if Superman can cheat a little, he can tilt the straw a little to get a drink because the 10 meter limit is on the vertical height.